Hi, I'm JD, and I just set up two problems on the board. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be simply simplifying the algebraic expressions. So if you would, see if you can try to do these on your own. All right, what you should have done, what you should have noticed is that you can't simplify what's inside the parentheses. So what you have to do is use the distributive property. So you distribute the 5 to the 2x and you distribute the 5 to the 3. Now with the 5 you want to distribute to the 7 because it's only attached to these parentheses. So 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times 3 is 15. That will be in minus 15. Then you distribute the 7. What's 7 times the 3x? Right. It's 21x. And what's 7 times 5? Right. It's 35. Alright, what you're going to do next... Oh, did I forget something? Yeah, I forgot the x with the 21. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to add like terms. So, oranges with oranges, pineapples with pineapples. So, x's with x's. And usually I underline them so I can keep track. And then pineapples with pineapples. So, constants with constants. So, this negative 15 with this positive 35 and just combine them. What's 10x plus 21x? Right, that's 31x. And what's negative 15 plus 35? Right, it's plus 20. That's it for the first expression. Now let's go over here. Now what do you have to do first here? Write parentheses, but you can't get rid of parentheses because you can't simplify that because they're unlike terms. So what you're going to have to do is what we did here is we distributed. So to distribute, you distribute the x to each of these. So you have 3, well I'm just bringing that down, plus 2x squared now, I can do y times x, but since I have an x, y, and they're the same, I'm just going to make them, I'm just going to make that x, y, plus 3x, y. So, now I add like terms, x with x's, if there was an x by itself, but there's not. Is there a y by itself? Another y by itself? No. Is there another x squared somewhere here? No. All I have is this and this. So these stay the same. So that's 3y plus 2x squared. I cannot add these two guys together, again, because they're unlike terms, but I can do that here. Now, it's implied that there's a 1 in front of the xy. So, negative 1xy plus 3y is going to give me 2y, 2xy. So, that would be 2xy. And that's it for both equations.